Sean Murphy, reigning Welsh Open champion, has got the second day of the shootout live from the Watford Coliseum underway in style. A one-visit finish from him. The match was done and dusted before the halfway mark. Clinical stuff from Murphy, who was so good in dispatching Kyron Wilson in Cardiff. He's picked up where he's left off, and poor Okishinarani had a couple of shots. That was about it for him, and he's on his way home. Murphy safely through to the round of 64 here at the shootout and looking to go one better than his previous best of semi-final three years back. Would you please welcome to the table a former world amateur champion, Sahel Vahidi, and a four-time rank event quarter-finalist, the AB of London Town, Alfie Burden! Well, this tournament is tailor-made for those players who might be struggling, struggling a little down the rankings and need the points and could do with some prize money to go with it. And for Sahil Fahidi of Iran, 30 years of age, and Alfie Burden, who's been on the circuit now for the best part of a quarter of a century. This is a tournament that just affords them the chance to go deep and climb those rankings. And I'm delighted to say that Sean Murphy, fresh from his victory in our first match of the day, has joined us in the commentary box. Congratulations, Sean. You're on a bit of a roll at the moment, to put it mildly. Uh, yeah, well, listen, you've got to enjoy it when it comes in this game, because it doesn't happen a lot. But uh, I can tell you, guys out there, last week, Alfie and I had a cracking match in the Welsh Open. He's in great form at the moment. I think our match went 4-3, and he had uh, we had sort of six or seven breaks over 60. Yeah, my memory of that match is that you kept pinching a frame off the other that the other one should have won. It was uh, it was roller coaster all the way to the end. Yeah, listen, I even won a couple of frames last week needing snookers. And that never happens. <laughs> well, you won a huge frame in that regard against Judd Trump, didn't you, that put you 3-1 up at the interval in that match, which felt like a big turning point. Yeah, it was a big turning point, but your memory is savage, Phil. You're, you're remembering things that I've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because you keep winning, and one win just melts into the other these days. Only that were true. As we see, neither player will fancy the black going up the table there. It's not the start either of them won. Do you feel as though your snooker right now is the best you've ever produced? Even better than, say, 2005? Oh, yeah, it's definitely better than 2005. I think, you know, when I came on the tour then and won the World Championships, you know, I, w I, was, I was really just a potter. Um, but my game's, you know, come round, you know, gone on leaps and bounds since then. Um, I always look back at 15 being what, probably my best season. And I think we're, you know, we're on the verge of getting back to those heights now. Very nearly one of the flukes of the season from Sahel, but it didn't go in and Alfie Burden has the early chance. How much of it is between the ears and how much of it is technical in terms of the contrast between your form this season and last when you said that your confidence was on the floor? Yeah, it's all between the ears. It's, th it's those six inches that make all the difference. And it's, uh, there are little bits of technique here or there. You know, we're constantly tweaking, making improvements. But uh, it is all about that. It's just about whether you believe you can or you can't. And that little voice in your head that's telling you, you know, you're an idiot or you're the best player in the world, that can have the, that can have the biggest effect on you. Alfie Burden's best in this tournament, a quarter-final appearance five years ago. He's played every year, like Sean, since this tournament first started back in 2011. And as he proved with that match against Sean in Cardiff last week, at his best, dangerous, very good amongst the balls. And he looks like the kind of player who can handle himself in front of a voracious crowd as well, Sean. Oh, yeah, he won't be bothered about that. He, he, he's one of the most talented players we've ever had, you know, in terms of pure talent and natural ability. Uh, you know, he is one of the best we've ever seen. That is high praise for someone who has never been past the quarterfinal of a ranking event. So we've already talked about those six inches between the years. Is it purely a mental thing, do you think, with someone like Alfie? I mean, I, yeah, well, it's not really my place to say, but I suppose it's, you know, you would have to look at that. Uh, you know, it could be, could be a number of things, but in terms of if they gave out trophies for natural ability, he'd have a, he'd have a cabinet full at home, you know? Well, he's got a good chance here, and he looks focused already with a handy lead. So we head towards 
the midway point of this match. He just needs to mind his work here. He's built up a, a decent lead, as you say, and when you're out there, you're just keen not to make any silly mistakes. Don't miss anything that you shouldn't miss. Not clean, but it went in and he's not too badly on the blue. How conscious are you of the shot clock when you're down there? Uh, yeah, not... I think because I've played in all of these events and I wasn't particularly conscious of it in my frame just then but I think to a lot of the rookies and the younger pros you know it's it's completely different it's completely new uh, I remember the days of the Premier League where that had a, a shot clock element to it as well and um, I think you just get it in your head that yeah there's a bit of a time limit and you get on with it but um, a lot of the lads would be that would be around their sort of mark anyway you know That's a good red from Sahel to get in. Could have done with a much more kindly kiss. You just get the impression sometimes with some of the players that they don't appreciate the amount of time they actually do have and they feel more rushed than they should be. Yeah, well, I, I watched a lot of the, the coverage yesterday and uh, you could see that. The, but some of the players, they, they look really under pressure. Whereas you've actually got more time than you think out there. Certainly if you can keep close control of the cue ball and... I heard a couple of guys referring to playing on instinct. We see Alfie slot another one in around the angles. Great strike. Always been a great striker of the ball, Alfie Burden. Yeah, he's potted very cleanly in this frame. His most recent quarterfinal appearance was the Scottish Open in a major ranking event, that is, 2018. was a very wise choice of shot how many players would have just got down and gone for the red next to the pink you know just on habit um, very smart shot he's playing like a shootout veteran isn't he he's mixing good potting with some good match play now at the moment so Hale Fahidi just can't make an impact on this match potted the good long red didn't land on a colour now he's chasing his tail a bit with just three minutes and 48 to go trouble. Missed the pink by a fraction there. If he hit the pink, he left the game, but he's now put uh, Sahel in a world of pain. And when you're behind and you're very conscious of the clock ticking, that urgency to push the boat out, to take a risk, becomes ever greater. Interesting little shot that he had to play that with check side to avoid the brown and the black and the reds didn't want to move those. But there is little insurance policy here. Made that shot a lot more difficult with the check side. Is there a chance here for Fahidi? Another good pot. Well, he's only 36 behind. One. I think there's enough time here. You can get down there in amongst them now. The pink's back on its spot. And you saw with that pink there, how well did he strike it. What a good Hewis Sahail is. Very talented player from Eight. Iran. Made the last 16 in Cardiff last week. Beat Lazowski, beat Tepchire, who of course is defending his title here in Watford. Thirteen. This would be some steal, wouldn't it? Plenty still to do. He's back in it. He's going to have to move something at some stage. As we saw before, that red underneath the black spot is available. That's a great shot. It looks so easy, those, on the TV. They're not easy shots, I can tell you, those. And this is another tough one. This is big. Cued it well. 21. 
I think he can play this with topspin and right hand side. He might try and move those two reds. I know the top one goes. Commentator's eyes working perfectly. <laughs> It's amazing, isn't it? Alfie Burden looked in complete control of this match, and now suddenly he's hoping for an error. Oh, he's put the pink safe. That was unlucky. Has the red blocked the blue? Oh, that is so unlucky. Time running short. This has got to go. Tough pot on the green. Oh, well played. Cool as you like. He takes the red and the blue, the scores will be level, and then it's all about that last red. Happy Burden has made one mistake, really, in this frame. The miss with the rest. Is it going to cost him the match? Are we in for another blue ball shootout? We could be. We yes. had one yesterday, didn't we? Daniel Wells coming through in the end in an absolute thriller. Scores level with half a minute to go. Oh, brilliant. It was a test of nerve, wasn't it, that shot? Well, what a visit that was. Now it's anyone's match with time very short. Has he got time to get round and have a go at this red? He certainly has. This for the match. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. He better hurry up. Well, he took too long. He surely took too long. He did. Was he conscious of how much time he had left there? Presumably not. He queued it well, but he left it too late. And we're going down to sudden death on the blue. I've got my head in my hands here. Well, we're just hit the ball. Hit the ball quicker. It was almost as though he'd forgotten for a moment that he was playing the shootout. Okay. Well, I mean, he's cute beautifully. The ball. Hit look it. at the, sh look at the shot it. clock. <laughs> oh, no. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> well, he cued it nicely, but it doesn't count. So here we go. And Burden has missed the blue. And of course, it has to go in the pocket you aim for, otherwise, it doesn't count. So fl flukes don't apply. And a chance now, a second chance for Sale to pop match ball. This is where you get to see who practices long blues, isn't it? Now remember your technique, sight the ball. And this time there's no time constraint. This for the match. He's got it. What a turnaround. What an incredible match. One of the best we've seen at the shootout. Alfie Burden for all the world looked as though he was going to win that one. He was in complete control. He made one mistake with the rest. Sahil Fahidi, cucumber call, forced it down to level pegging, had the chance to win on the red, took too long, but at his second bite at the cherry, he potted the deciding blue.